Good day everyone. I'll be sharing with you today on how we can highly retrieval in plums by using edible coatings. Shrivel is a big challenge in the stone fruit industry in South Africa. For example, 15 to 48 percent claims were recorded in the last harvest season. This is loss of money, water, labor that went into the production of the fruit. And when fruit is shipped to the export market, due to shrivel, fruit has to be repacked before they can be accepted. This has another extra cost of labor onto the production. It also has an impact on the market share and confidence in the fruit that is going from South Africa to the international market. It is then logical to ask this question, what makes fruit triple? In stone fruits, the most factor that results in shrivel is excessive moisture loss. This can be as a result of micro cracks. It can be because the cuticle is not elastic enough. And it can also be because of deformation of epidermal cells on the fruit. We also know that the incidence and the severity of shrivel in stone fruit could be as a result of cultivar it could be as a result of growing region, maturity stage of the fruit, and post-harvest handling of the fruit. The only way we attempt to control shiver is through packaging. Packaging of tall fruit makes use of shiver sheets, foam sheets, and pop tray in the carton. However, there's still significantly high incidence of shrivel in fruit exported to the international market due to the distance to this market. Another limitation is the use of plastic that are not sustainable because of the environmental impact of plastics. Our approach is to use edible coating to reduce moisture loss in stone fruit. By doing this, we'll be able to reduce shrivel. Edible coating can also be an alternative to plastic and fungicides that are currently being used in the industry. In order to achieve this, we tested four experimental coatings. This included halogenate, chitosan, gel and gum, and gum arabic. In addition to this, we also tested two commercially available coatings. Coating 1, commercial, and commercial coating 2. The experiment was in two phases. The first phase was lab-based trial, and the second one was a packhouse trial. The result. The first thing we observed was that the choice of fruit coating is very important because we observed that some coatings actually induce shrivel. On fruit. For example, coating B induced shrivel. The shrivel rate was even much more than the control fruit. Coating A and the control had similar shrivel occurrence, while coatings C, D, and commercial coatings 1 and 2 
significantly reduce fever. When we consider the overall performance of all the coatings, we can see that fruit coated with gum arabic and the commercial coatings had a significant reduced fever occurrence. In addition to that, results also showed preservation of quality attributes and extension of shelf life in coated fruit. This can be seen in the decision matrix in the graph on the PowerPoint. We were able to extend shelf life of plums by 10 days when we compared the gum arabic treated fruit with that of control. Although we were able to reduce fever incident in plums by applying edible coating, it is important to know that there is now zero tolerance to shrivel in the international market. Therefore, there is a need to explore possible previous application of edible coating. This is because the time between harvest and fruit packaging is long enough to result in moisture loss and this moisture loss is irreversible and will end up in shrivel incidents. Therefore, it is important that we conduct research and investigate the prospect of application of edible coating to reduce moisture loss between harvest and fruit packaging when the fruit will be recoated with the edible coating. I would like to acknowledge this organization. Thank you for listening. If you have any question, feel free to contact me on my email address and my phone number. Thank you very much.